Friends on YouTube, you will find a lot of videos in which it is told that pump or motor we use, how to start pump through float switch and how to stop. But you will not find even a single video in which it is told that through the float switch, how you will start and stop the motor and along with this water tank here, what is the water level in tank? It is full or empty? How float switch will tell us the level, you will not find any video explaining all these connections. So today through this video, I am going to explain you that float switch here, how to do connection of this so that it can start and stop the motor and along with this, what is the water level in water tank, it can show indication of this also. Connection which I am going to tell you in this connection, this circuit diagram here, according to this, I will explain you everything. That is, I will explain you through this circuit diagram, along with this, I will explain you whole wiring practically. Okay then, let's start the video. Friends, I already did the connection before, this fan here, to turn on and off this fan, I did the whole connection. And in this connection, wiring which I did is exactly like DOL starter. That is, coil of contactor here to provide power supply to this coil, stop push button, start push button and a holding circuit is also used. So in this wiring of DOL starter, what we have to do, float switch here and selector switch here, we have to do connection of these. And this selector switch here, power supply which is going from start push button or float switch here, power supply which is coming from both of these, this power supply must go to contactor through selector switch only. So first of all what we will do, power supply which is coming from start push button, we break this from here and after that we will connect selector switch in between. So here I have a selector switch, I have to connect this. Before connecting this, I am turning off the MCB. After turning off MCB, I have to see here that after pressing start push button, phase supply which is going to turn on contactor is going through which wire. As you can see, at A1 terminal of this contactor, here red wire is connected and this red wire is coming from this push button. It means after pressing start push button, phase supply will come from this wire and it will turn on this contactor. So this wire connected here, I have to disconnect this. As I told you, this selector switch here is going to be connected in between this phase supply. Now when you look at the back side of this selector switch, then you will find total 4 terminals here. A2 terminal, A1 terminal and one number terminal. Besides one more terminal is there which is a dummy type or you can say this is a point of one number terminal. Just now wire which I cut, I mean this wire which I cut, take this wire and in the selector switch at one number position or two number position, connect this wire with terminal at this position. That is in this selector switch I have, here is A1 terminal or A2 terminal here, I can connect wire with these terminals. I want that when I rotate selector switch to one number position, then in this condition, this start push button here, this one, on pressing this, contactor must turn on. For one number position, there is A1 terminal, so with this terminal, I am connecting this wire. Now with common terminal of selector switch, that is one number terminal here, with this terminal, connect one wire. After connecting this, take other end of wire and in this contactor here, this one, with A1 terminal of contactor, with this terminal we will connect the wire. So all the changes I did here, in these changes what I did is this phase supply wire here, I cut this wire and in between I connected the selector switch. Like if I turn on this MCB and after turning on this, if I press start push button, you can see motor turned on. And if I press stop push button, then my motor will turn off. Besides you can see one more thing here, if I don't keep this selector switch at one number position, if I keep this at zero number position, then in this condition my motor will not turn on, because selector switch is in off position. Now if I rotate this selector switch to two number position, then in this condition also motor will not turn on through this push button. If I want to turn on this motor through push button, then for this I will select one number position in selector switch. After this, by pressing push button, I can turn on this. And on pressing stop push button, I can turn off this. So how to connect selector switch in between, we understood this. Now we have to understand that through this float switch, how we will turn on and off this fan. To understand connection of float switch, first of all, let's look at the diagram. In this diagram, it is told that float switch here, this symbol here is of float switch. At common terminal of float switch, we have to give incoming power supply. After this, NC contact and NO contact of float switch here, 
by using any one contact among these in the selector switch at two number position with the terminal at this position we have to connect this wire. So we have to do only this much connection through this float switch to turn on and off this contactor. So before connection what I will do these three wires here I am connecting all these three wires here through the terminal block. That is I am taking three TB and I am placing these TB directly here in this way. With these three TB I am connecting these three wires so that we can do wiring in a proper way. So in this circuit diagram it is told that common terminal here at this terminal we have to connect phase supply and that also from output terminal of stop push button. So what we can do here is stop push button here this one from this power supply which is going for start push button from the middle of this connect a wire and we connect this wire at this common terminal. Right now this push button here it is covered so I am showing you in circuit diagram where is common wire. Like you can see stop push button this one in between here two wires are connected. One wire is going this side and other on this side. This wire here is connected at common terminal of contactor. To hold this contactor and a contact which is used at this terminal one wire is connected. Like this green wire here it is coming from output terminal of stop push button. So connect one wire from this terminal and to this yellow wire of float switch provide incoming power supply. If we want we can connect at this point or at this point it is same thing because in this circuit diagram it is shown that these two wires are going to connect at same point. So what I will do I am taking this yellow wire and connecting with NO contact directly in this way. Take other end of this wire and this yellow wire here of float switch connect this wire with this wire. To provide incoming power supply to this float switch we did the connection of wire. Now through this float switch power supply we will get we have to connect this power supply with this selector switch. For this I am using this blue wire. Take this wire and in this float switch with NC contact blue wire is of NC contact. So with this wire I am connecting this wire. I connected this wire here. Now take other end of wire and in this selector switch with second terminal as I told you in this selector switch if we rotate this to two number position then in this condition on the terminal at which we get power supply with this terminal the wire we connected just now we have to connect this wire with this terminal. So A2 terminal here this A2 terminal is for two number position. So with this terminal I am directly connecting this wire. After this much connection you will see this starter we have at first I am turning on the MCB. After turning on MCB what I will do selector switch here I am keeping this at zero position. After selecting zero position if I press start push button then my motor won't turn on. Besides this float switch here if I keep this downwards or upwards then also my motor won't turn on. If I want to turn on this motor then first of all I have to do selection here that in which way I want to start the motor through push button or through float switch. Right now I want to turn on and off through push button so I am selecting one number position. After this on pressing start push button motor turned on. By pressing this I can turn off motor. Now through float switch if I want to turn on motor then for this what I will do I will select two number position in selector switch. On selecting two number position motor turned on you can see how float switch did this. Right now it is facing downwards so motor turned on. When I move this upwards like this uh, you can see motor is not turning off. What is the problem? Look. This contactor here right now holding circuit of contactor is letting this contactor to remain on. If I even select auto position in selector switch then float switch here like I turned this off. When it is off and if I move float switch downwards then motor will turn on. But on moving upwards motor will not turn off. Reason behind this is holding circuit of contactor is working. So holding circuit is working in this position I mean it should not work at two number position. So now we have to do some changes in wiring. If you look at the circuit diagram also then in circuit diagram also it is told power supply of holding circuit here like this power supply here will be connected at the point of selector switch. Right now this wire here we connected this wire at A1 terminal of contactor. Like you can see here is NO contact. Output wire of NO contact is connected directly at A1 terminal. This is why it continued to hold. So what we will do holding circuit wire this wire here we will remove this from here. After removing take this wire and in this selector switch here with A1 terminal here connect this wire. For this 
what I will do, I am removing this whole wire because it is small. After removing this wire, I am taking another wire and from the point, I mean from the NO contact point, I removed the wire. With this terminal, I am connecting this wire. Just to increase length of wire, I connected another wire. Now take other end of wire and in this selector switch here with A1 terminal of selector switch. So with this terminal, I am connecting this wire in this way. So for holding circuit of contactor, connection we did before. After changing this connection through float switch, I am going to turn on and off motor to show you. I turned on the MCB here. Selector switch is at two number position. Right now I am facing float switch upwards. Right now motor is off. On facing downwards, I mean when water tank is empty, then pump or motor here will be turned on. When water level in tank becomes full, float switch will go upwards and this motor here will be turned off. You can see my motor is turned off. When it goes down, motor turn on. When it goes up, motor turn off. You can see here, motor turn on, motor turn off. You can see through float switch and along with this, through push button also to turn on and off motor, whole connection is completed. Now through this float switch only, we have to find out what is the water level in tank. And to find out water level, we will do connection of indication lamp. So I have two indication lamps here. Among these two indication lamp, this red indication lamp will be used when water level in tank is full. And this green indication lamp will be used when water level is low. So how to do connection of both these indication lamps, let's understand this. In this circuit diagram, it is told to operate indication lamp, we have to provide connection of neutral power supply. Along with this, we have to do connection of waste supply. So how to connect, I will tell you. But first of all, to these two indication lamps, I am providing neutral power supply. For providing neutral power supply, we can use neutral power supply from MCB or neutral power supply connected at A2 terminal of contactor. Like here, we can use this also. For now, from this point, I am doing connection of neutral power supply. For this, I am taking a wire and I am connecting this directly with A2 terminal in this way. Now take other end of this wire and indication lamp here with one terminal of indication lamp connect this wire. Now with the same terminal, loop a wire and to other indication lamp here do the connection to provide neutral power supply. Like here, I provided neutral power supply to both the indication lamps. Now after this, what we have to do, NC contact of float switch here, with this contact, we have to do connection of low level indication lamp. And through NO contact, we have to do connection of high level indication lamp. So according to this circuit diagram, we will do the wiring. Blue wire of float switch is for NC contact. So with NC contact, I am connecting this wire. Take other end of wire and low level indication here, I mean this green indication lamp here, which we are using for low level, with this indication lamp, we will connect this wire in this way. After this, red wire is for NO contact. So with NO contact, connect this wire. Now take other end of this wire and with high level indication lamp here, connect this wire in this way. So we did the whole wiring of starter. And wiring we did, this whole wiring is done according to this circuit diagram. Now in this starter, how everything is working, let's understand this. First of all, I am turning on the MCB. After turning on MCB, you can see here green indication lamp started glowing. This means that water level in water tank is low, that is water tank is empty. Right now water tank is empty, still motor didn't turn on because right now selector switch is at zero number position. That is, it is in off condition. When selector switch is at off position, motor will not turn on, but this indication lamp will work. As you can see, green indication lamp is indicating water level is low. Now if float switch goes in upward direction, then in this condition, this indication lamp started glowing. You can see. For now, I connected yellow indication lamp. Wiring which I was telling you in that I used this indication lamp. This is faulty actually, not working. This is why I changed the indication lamp. You can see when water level is full, this indication lamp, yellow one, started glowing. You can see when water level is low, green indication lamp is glowing. When water tank becomes full, yellow indication lamp is glowing. When water tank goes empty, green indication lamp is glowing. So indication lamp is working properly. Now what we will do, we will select the manual position in selector switch. That is, at one number position, we will select. After selecting one number position, if I press start push button, then you can see motor is turned on. Whether water tank is full or empty, it doesn't matter. You can see one thing here. According to float switch, indication lamps are working, but motor is not turning off. 
if we want to stop motor then we have to press stop push button then only motor will turn off after this if i select two number position and select a switch now when i turn this upwards motor turned off you can see motor turned off when water level goes low motor turn on when water level is full motor turn off you can see here indications are also working properly so this starter here you understood the whole working of starter